Hey guys, it's Riley at Riles Thrifted over on Instagram and Poshmark, and today I'm here with a what sold video. This might be the last video I'm filming outside before the weather just gets too cold. So, as always, sorry for a little extra noise. If it be cars or winds or people walking by, I don't know, winds. Thank you for putting up with it. As always, this video is late. When are my videos ever not late? Uh, and I knew if I didn't sit down to film this right now, it would never get posted. So that's why my hair is still a little bit wet from my shower, but without further ado, I don't have much introduction. So let's just get into what sold in October. This is going to be the last week of October. So I'm doing the 24th to the 31st. And I'm looking down at my computer. My first sale on the 24th were these Noble high top trainers and this brand Noble is definitely a bolo. These sold for $80 and it's Noble as in like N-O-B-U-L-L. -L. There's a glare on my face. Where's that coming from? Uh, they're a CrossFit training. I don't exercise that often. They're a workout shoe brand and um, I picked these up at Plato's Closet and I did pay up for them. I don't remember. I think they might have been in a video. Um, I had 20% off coupon, so they were $45, but I paid 20% off of that. So I think that was like $36. So this wasn't like my biggest profit. Uh, my earnings were $64 and I paid $36. So I made like $28 on these, but they sold within a few days. And when purchasing them, I knew I was gonna make a huge profit because of my cost of goods but I'm still happy I purchased them and they flipped pretty quickly. And I did list these high. I think I listed these over $100 and took an offer for $80. I didn't really tell you how I do these videos in case you're new. Uh, I share the cost it sold for, my cost of goods, and so my estimated profit, I would say, obviously before taxes. I don't mind sharing my cost of goods. I know some people do, but it doesn't really bother me. Okay, next item. I was so glad to see this gone. It is an anthropology cartonier, cartonier ruffle blazer. Um, here it is, and it sold for fifteen dollars. I okay. There's an animal like walking in the leaves, so sorry if you can hear that. I've had this blazer for, and a dog barking. Like this is fantastic. Someone go let your dog in. I've had this blazer for two years at least. Like so, so freaking long. And part of the problem is I never relisted it. I just listed it and it's not, it wasn't in like terrific condition, whatever. I just needed this gone. Someone sent me a $15 offer and I was like, take it. And I hated it. So I never relisted it. Usually if I like an item and it doesn't sell, I'll relist it. But this I just hated. I was so glad I got on my earnings were $12. Um, I probably paid five. So I made a $7 profit. Um, would not purchase this item again. I really have not been picking up much anthropology. And again, on the 24th, this was a super good sale. It is this Free People Brown Knit Cardigan Sweater. And this dog is annoying traffic. I love dogs, but come on someone, let your dog in, please. I somewhat debated picking this up at the thrift store. I don't remember if it was in a video or not because it was an older style, this dog. Oh my God, whose dog is this? <sighs> okay, we're back. Hopefully the dog will be quiet. Okay, so as I was saying, sold for $43 in a few minutes. I was debating picking it up or not because it was an older style, but I'm glad I did. And okay, it, my earnings were $34.40 and I believe I paid seven. So I made a $27 profit, which is very good. And I was, what, oh my gosh, this video is just like, doesn't want to be filmed. Now the sun, oh. I made like a $27 profit and I was pretty happy with that. Oh, and I was surprised this item wasn't marked up because it's free people and my gut was often mark free people up. Next up on the 25th of October, this Life is Good winter graphic t-shirt sold. It said snow problem on it, which I just thought was hilarious. And I picked this up at the bins and it sold in like a day. Another really quick flip, it sold only for $10, but I paid like 60 cents for it and it sold in a day. My earnings were seven, so I made like a $6 something profit. And I'm super happy with that. Sold in a day. I saved it from the landfill because it was at the bins um, and I made $6. And money's money. I'm not gonna say no to $6. So I know some people's business strategies like don't involve small dollar sales, but I was happy with that sale. If your business model includes selling items you got, now there's an Amazon truck. <laughs> if your business model includes selling items 
that you got for cheap for relatively cheap prices life is good as a br good brand to be on the lookout because both times i've sold it i picked it up from the bins and it sold really fast so for cheap but really fast okay next up on the 25th i sold a bundle the first item were these saludos they were black slip-on espadrilles i'm sorry about the sun we're just gonna i mean hmm. so as i was saying i didn't really remember um these are just classic black saludo espadrilles and saludos i used to really love selling and now i've had a hard time moving more plain ones so i'm staying away from saludos unless they seem like some of the a special embroidered pair anyway i've had these listed for a while i had them listed at 30 dollars and they sold in this bundle which sold for 49 dollars and so the other item that sold in the bundle And the other item that sold in this bundle was this black Bowden jersey dress. This was actually in a thrift with me. Um, potentially my last thrift with me, I posted at Goodwill. And so I had this dress listed at $35 and it sold in this bundle, which sold for a total of $49. The shoes I most likely paid $5 for and the dress I, I mean, you saw it in the video. How much did I pay for it? seven dollars i want to say so i paid twelve dollars for everything um my earnings were 39 20 so i made like 27 dollars um it was okay i really just wanted to move those to ludos so glad those are gone and made an okay profit next up these uh on the 26th of october i sold these steve madden gray snakeskin tall booties and or boots they sold for 35 dollars, and i was pretty happy with this price I got these at last chance. Um, they are probably in a haul. And this airplane is driving me nuts. Life hates me. What is happening? This is why you film inside. I need to find a good spot to film inside. They sold for $35. I paid, I'm just gonna say $5. I'm gonna say I paid $5 for these. So, so I made a $23 profit, super happy with this sale. And I actually have another pair of these to list in a blue color. So got to get those listed soon. And as I'm thinking, talking about boots, boots have been selling so well for me. I do have lots of boots I need to get listed. Uh, I've just super swamped through the inventory. So got to get boots listed. If you have boots to get listed, get them listed because I've been selling boots like crazy. And next up, I sold this Marmot blue knit winter hat. And this was a Ben's pickup last year. It sat for a whole year, but it sold for $14. <laughs> and my earnings were twelve or eleven oh five. I paid average cost at the bins of sixty cents. I made over ten dollars. And again, I'm okay with that profit when I'm picking up at the bins. This item, so easy to photograph, took me seconds basically. So I'm okay with ten dollar profit. And if you're okay with selling bins items for cheap, let me know down below. I'd love to know if your business, I mean, not business model in air quotes, but like my business model is just sell anything. So if your business model is just sell anything or if you stick to higher end items. Then after that, I sold these Spanx Shapewear High Rise Shorts. They sold also on the 26th of October and they sold for $20. Uh, I picked, this is my first time thrifting Spanx. I picked these Spanx up at a Salvation Army. I wanna say for two or $3. No, I, I picked these up, let's just say $3 to be on the safe end, the high end. Um, so I made a profit of $13. These sold in under a month. Uh, Spanx, as long as they're in good condition, definitely an item I would consider flipping. On the 27th of October, another low dollar sale, I sold these uh, Gap high rise trousers for $10. These were a Ben's pickup, uh, $7 profit. So I made over $6. One thing with Ben's items that are cheap like this, I hope they sell in bundles so that I get that higher, um, so I'm able to make more of a profit on them if they sell in a bundle. But I don't mind just selling them by themselves. So not a super exciting sale there, but still making money. Then here's a good sale. Uh, I picked these up right, I got, I picked these up right before COVID, like the day people are like, oh my gosh, stuff's gonna shut down. I went to Goodwill. I was like, oh my gosh, stuff's gonna get shut down. I'm going to Goodwill. So back in March, I picked up these Sorrel Men's Chuckle Winter Boots and they sold for $38 lower than what i wanted but i was okay with it they sold really fast my earnings were 30 
40, $30.40. I paid five dollars probably I think so I made a $25 profit relatively quickly like two weeks maybe so happy with that. Then on October 27th as well I sold these Catherine Melandrino Red Snake Skin Tall Boots. They sold for $30 and this Catherine Melandrino is not a brand I ever pick up. I pick these boots up based on style at last chance. Maybe you saw them in a haul I did, maybe not. My earnings were $24. Um, I paid let's say six. So I made like an $18 profit. I honestly was expecting to make a little bit more on these boots, but $30 is okay. They sold again relatively quickly, probably in under a month. Okay, next up was a bundle. So on the, the on October 28th, I sold a bundle of three items and all of them have been sitting for probably over a year. The first item that sold in this bundle was a fossil crossbody purse. And I listed this again, another super, super old item, like from over two years ago, but I never relisted just because I'm a lazy butt and would rather list new items. But I had this originally listed at $38 and it sold in this bundle. Next item also listed a long time, probably not as long as the fossil, but a long time, like over a year, was this J. Crew polka dot dress. And I had this listed at $42, which honestly is high. I don't know why I never dropped the price and it probably could have used a relist. And then the next item I listed like last winter or spring, probably last winter, was this white plus Warren gray cashmere wool blend sweater. And I had that price at $45. And honestly, I'm a little surprised that it took this long for it to sell just because it's a nice brand and nice fabric content. But I don't remember exactly when I listed it. And honestly, I could have listened it at the end of winter, which makes sense if like it's the end of winter when I listed it. Anyway, this bundle sold for $73. I paid... $10 for the fossil crossbody, which was too much, but it was so long ago. The dress, did I pay like $8 for that maybe? And the sweater, five. So let's just say I paid $23 for this bundle, which is really high. Honestly, just like the fossil crossbody purse, I would not pay $10 for again. It's not even leather, it was canvas, like waxed canvas. But okay, so let's say I made a profit of $35 on this bundle, not my best. But I moved out old inventory and I'm happy about that. Whenever it's like a not great profit, but it's an old piece, I'm just happy to move it out because I'm tired of looking at it in my closet. Okay, next up, another old item I was glad to move out. It was this Kendall and Kylie black floral button front dress. And it sold out on October 30th. And again, here's another dress I've had for a while. Kendall plus Kylie, uh, the PacSun brand. Wait. Kendall and Kylie, there's two, okay? Kendall and Kylie, the PacSun brand, does not sell for me. I have this piece and I have two other pieces in my closet. The other two are rompers, one from the bins and one super cheap from Play-Doh's closet. They won't move. Honestly, if I ever get Kendall and Kylie again, it's going to Play-Doh's closet. <laughs> um, this sold for $15. I paid like $3 for it at Goodwill on sale. So I made like a $9 profit. It's fine, it was old, I'm glad to see it gone. And that actually went to Puerto Rico, which is cool. I like when things ship to interesting places. The other day I shipped something to East Sandwich, Massachusetts or something, and I thought it said Eat Sandwich and that made my day. So this was Kendall and Kylie, and one thing to be note is there is a line, Kendall plus Kylie, which is sold at Revolve and Nordstrom maybe, and that's like way more expensive, like retails in like the hundreds, like $150 maybe. But here's the thing, I have a dress by Kendall plus Kylie in my closet and I don't think people know the difference. I've come across it at last chance and it's cute and I've thought about picking it up, but if people don't know the difference between Kendall plus Kylie and Kendall and Kylie, honestly, they should have done some a different brand name. Like there's no point in picking it up if people are like, well, that's from Paxson and it's super cheap. So I'm not gonna pay $50 for that. What is actually a super expensive dress, so. That's just my opinion. But if you have uh, any thoughts on the brands, please leave them down below. I'd love to see what you think. Next, here it was a good sale. On October 30th as well, I sold these Donald J. Pliner men's ankle boots. They sold for $50. And I picked these up at Goodwill, I believe in a thrift with me, which is posted on my channel. I think I paid $7 for these and Donald J. Planner's hit and miss, but men's items can do really well. I tend to only really pick men's up at the bins, but I had a feeling these would do well. They were listed for like two months, three months maybe, but you know, I listed them in summer and now it's fall, so it makes sense they sold now. Um, my earnings are 40, I paid seven, so I made like slightly over $30, which I'm 
good with. This was a good sale. And honestly, these aren't my best sales from October, but I'm just doing the last week. This is what all my sales that sold in the last week of October. Okay, this dress I was happy to see go. Uh, it was a La Maison Tallulah maroon gold lace dress. And I picked this up at last chance and it was a very expensive dress. Let's see what it retailed for. It retailed for $299, but I think the thing is people don't know the brand. Cause I mean, I didn't even know the brand when I picked it up, but I picked up a last chance for like six or seven bucks. So uh, it did sell for $40. So I'm happy with the sale price. I did have it listed for a long time though. My earnings were 32. Let's say I paid seven. Actually, I probably paid more like, let's say I paid seven. <laughs> so I made a $25 profit. It's a good profit, but it sat for over six months. So meh. Uh, if this is your first what sold video you have seen of mine and you're wondering why I'm guesstimating on my prices, it's because I have uh, how much I paid per item in a spreadsheet, but I don't feel like going through that spreadsheet and trying to figure out how much I paid per item per item for these videos. So I just kind of try to remember. <laughs> Next on October 30th, I sold these UGG Max. I can't talk. Ugg Marcuson Ankle Booties and they sold for $45. These were only listed for like maybe two weeks and sold for a good amount. Um, I They were in my death pile like for over a year. I have like, I don't know why, I have a pile of shoes in a basement, in my dad's basement where shoes go to die. Like if they get put in that pile, they're not listed. And somehow these ended up here and they sold super fast. Do as I say, not as I do, and list your death pile. <laughs> um, so my earnings were 36, uh, my earnings were $36. And I paid, let's say $5 or seven. I paid five to $7 for these. So let's just say I made a $30 profit. Super happy with that profit, especially since they sold so fast. Wish I had listed them sooner, but you know what, made the money now. Then on October 30th, I sold this Anthropology, what was the sub brand? Anthropology Tabitha tan button front tunic jacket dress. And it really was like a tunic jacket dress. It's kind of everything and nothing all at the same time. This sold pretty fast, like relatively fast for an old Anthropology piece. And I picked this up based on style. I figured the style would do well. Um, again, I am staying away from a lot of anthropology these days, but uh, I'm glad this sold well. I think I paid $6 for it. It probably sold in slightly over a month or two. Let's say I made like an $18 profit. I'm happy with that. I wasn't expecting much more out of this piece. So almost done guys. Okay, you may remember these from the Thrift With Me at Plato's Closet. Uh, they sold on October 31st. Uh, they are these frame La original light wash high rise mom jeans and they sold for $94. And I really took a risk on these paying $25 I believe at Plato's Closet for these jeans. They are new at tag. I listed them over $100. I don't remember exactly how much for it. And I believe this person actually sent me an offer of 94 and I was very happy with that. And so I made a $50 profit because my earnings are $75.20, I paid $25. And I am, again, very happy with a $50 profit. This was a great sale. I don't often pay $25 for an item, so I'm glad this paid off. And these sold like really fast, I'd say uh, between two weeks and a month. Two more items left, two more items left for this video. Okay, so on October 31st, I sold these Steve Madden perforated ankle booties and these sold for $20. Honestly, these should have been relisted. I listed them last summer, like uh, August, maybe August 2019, and they didn't sell through that fall. And I should have relisted them for this fall, but I like my photos were on the okay. I didn't feel like it. Again, I just prefer to list new items <laughs> than relist things that are already listed. I had them listed. I thought like in the third. I really thought that these would sell for like 30 bucks. Um, they sold for 20, and. I just was like, whatever, take them. They were in good condition, but I paid like five. So I only made an $11 profit, but I'm again, glad to see them gone. And it's my fault. I didn't relist them and try to get a little bit more. Cause I really think they would have sold if I had relisted them for a higher amount. And the last item for today's video, uh, on October 31st, I sold this Athleta Gray asymmetrical wool sweater. 
and it sold for $35 and I was super happy I think <laughs> with that sale let's find out once I go into the numbers uh, my earnings are $28 and I probably paid like five or six dollars for this so I made it over $20 profit uh, like 20 21 dollars well uh, yeah like let's say like 21 22 dollars good for me I did although have this item for a while and potentially did relist it I think I did relist it but I didn't take new pictures or anything I just used the relisting feature um but I'm glad it sold for $35 because Athleta's kind of hit or miss with price and even how long it takes to sell so I am happy with this sale so guys this is everything that sold for me in the last week of October I hope your sales were great let me know if October was a good or bad month for you October is a historically good month for me um as well as September and November can be hit or miss so Stay tuned for what sold in November next month to see how November was. Thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you stayed till the end of the video. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Sounds are getting annoying, so I'm gonna go. Bye guys!